everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel, The Empowered Light Reader. So today is June 28th. It's Monday. I'm going to channel a message for you, the energy of today, as well as a light language transmission to activate, awaken, and align your energy. So taking a nice deep breath, opening up to receive the message for today. Whew, surrender, surrender, trust, acceptance. It's all going to be okay. The first thing I heard when I woke up this morning is not only is it all going to be okay, but you're okay. You're okay. How would you feel, right? How would you feel if in every moment you are okay? How would you feel if you could just be okay with anything, any random event, right? Any fearful situation, anything that felt out of our grasp, and our control spirit is now aligning. The universe is aligning. Your guides, the masters, the source of all that is, is aligning you with the energy of oneness and wholeness and truth, which is allowing you to go to the dark places, the unsafe places, to transform those spaces. But you can go there, right? You're allowed to go there. You're free to go there, to travel there. Because ultimately, you are safe. And the whole point of your transformation, the Earth's transformation, the rotating and returning back to love, is being able to face, you know, separation, lack, unworthiness with the, with the eyes and the lens of love. And when we do that, when we're able to do that, we're able to really, truly live authentically in our power. And what does that mean? You know, do you really want to live in your power? and be able to be unaffected, right? And to be able to be a pillar of strength, even, you know, in, in, in situations and circumstances that feel out of your grasp and out of your control, that is the ultimate desire, right? To be, to be the master, to hold that masterful energy, right? That's all of our, that's our birthright. That's, that's, we're, we're, we're here to own our power, right? And remember, as I say through all these videos and all these messages, the masters, the energy, oneness, it's always reiterating the same thing, really, in different layers. That the more you, you know, return to oneness, the more the planet returns to the energy and the vibration of love, you're going to see this show up in your life. And how is it showing up? I talked about, you know, the initiation last time. And now I'm talking about surrender, but also trust. Trusting in yourself that you are... You are a force, right? And what really happens is when we start to trust that we're going to be okay no matter what, yes, we're surrendering, right? But we're also taking our power back because our reaction, our happiness is no longer outside of us. It's not dependent on how that person responds to us or how that situation turns out. We trust that the universe is aligning for our highest, best good. And this also relates to abundance and wealth, right, and success. Because once we're in alignment and we're willing to go to the lack, the separation, the fear, the ultimate surrender and trust and retrieve pieces of our soul that are in alignment with separation, once we are willing to fall back, we're held. We're ultimately held. So we, we, can, we can, you know, go there because we're held, because we're safe. I, um, I had a conversation with a friend and we were talking about, you know, um, aligning yourself with doing the work, right? In a business and any, any, any shape or form in your life, the work doesn't come, you know, outside from self. It comes from inside self. So if I want to attract clients or people to me, right, it can be, it can be very frustrating when working from the outside, trying to do this, trying to do that, what other people tell us to do. But really, if we go into our own energy and we go into the uncomfortable place and what doesn't quite feel right, we're then cleansing and clearing, right? And creating a space to then attract and magnetize to us. But we must kind of go to these uncomfortable places. And that is, you know, lack, lack of trust, lack of trust in ourselves, right? And I said to her, you know, this conversation reminds me of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You know, the end. I always think of this when... Um, Mr. Wonka, you know, Gene Wilder says to Charlie, whatever happened to the boy who got everything he ever wanted? And Charlie says, I don't know. And Mr. Wonka says, 
he lived happily ever after. That's what happened. So <laughs> the reason why I'm sharing this is because are you okay with getting everything you ever wanted? Would you be okay? What happened if you showed up or rather if it showed up right now? You know, we need to do this foundational work to receive all the abundance that is there for us. So think about that the next time you feel forced or pushed. So let's take a nice deep breath, aligning with our center self to open up, you know, the frequencies, to receive codes, to allow us not only to surrender, but trust in ourselves. Te kana. I know that everything is going to be okay. La surto, shukupina, reme ama, sukate arena ama, ushur tusu. Be mindful of what you hear and what you say, and the in between in that process between what you're hearing from the outside world, how you're feeling about it, digesting that, believing or not believing that. What is your infiltration system? Are you able to infiltrate negative thoughts? and transform and transmute them into the energy of oneness and love. How are we able to do that? Is how we make meaning of what we create. Yes, and again, remember, everything's created from the inside. And if you believe that you will be okay, no matter what, you truly are a powerful being because in that moment, your power is not outside of yourself. So reclaim your power, reclaim your right to vibrate in the energy of oneness. That is your divine birthright. So a shorter message today, but really the intention behind today for you should be everything's going to be okay. And not only will everything be okay, but can I trust and know that no matter what happens, everything will be okay because I'll be okay. Even if my greatest fear is realized, in that moment, you take your power back. Take your power back now. Now is the time we are being initiated. It all begins with you and begins with me. Every time I have a revelation, I'm on here sharing it with you as well. Let's raise the vibration of the planet together. If you like these messages, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get them out four times a week. You will receive new messages from me, daily guided channeled messages from source, from my guides, and light language as well, always to support you. Again, I love you. Thank you for being you. Subscribe, like, share, <laughs> sending you much love. Thank you for helping me raise the vibration of the planet. Bye.